inside and I laugh on my own. Got all the tea and I'm hotting it up. I need to shade mansion or rooms not enough. You're dropping some shit, but that shit was a bunch. What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. We're gonna dive right into something that I've been having for a little while. I talked about it on one of my pre other previous videos. I think it was my top five or top ten list. Um, this one is gonna be Thierry Muglish Pure Coffee. Now this is a fragrance that I have for a little while. I do really like this fragrance. It smells really nice. Um, what I can tell you is that like it's a very simple, very linear type of fragrance. It doesn't really change much throughout uh, the life of the scent. It's a coffee gourmandish type of vibe that you get from this one kind of similar to like if you have like a like a Ferragam ferragamo Romo it's something similar to that but it's a whole different type of vibe this actually smells like kind of coffee out the pot but like in a good way you know what I mean um, so like I said it's very simple I'll actually read the notes off to you right now I don't have it on me but I can tell you exactly what they are so with this one, you'll get notes like Arabica, coffee, patchouli, musk, moss, cedarwood, and vetiver. Just spraying it, as you can see, which the uh, it does come out a little like I think it comes out a little bit rough, rough around the edges. But on the dry down, it's like a um, which I think I said before in the previous video I had. On the dry down, this one becomes a really nice sexy scent i really do enjoy this one i think this can be something good for like say if you go to like a brunch date nice morning nice brisk morning out i like to always wear this one i do wear this one to work a lot but one thing i do not enjoy about the bottle is the stupid atomizer to be honest with you look at it it's just so weird like you gotta like you gotta hit it on the actual like middle here the button is like way up here and if you touch here nothing comes out so look see. but if you push oh, I don't know it's stupid but whatever bottle is different they get a nice they get an A from me for creativity it's I really do like this and you could probably pick this one up for like 40 50 bucks if you buy it online now even though I do like this sink uh, I don't think that I get I'm, it's not one that I really wear for too much compliments I, I don't think you're really gonna get a lot of compliments with this one it's a scent that I normally wear kind of just for me but I do, like I said, I enjoy it a lot and I do think that it is a nice scent and it does not offensive. It does project well for, I would say around, about, about like two hours or so and then after that it dries down to pretty much a skin scent. Um, I don't think that a lot of people are really gonna spell it on you too much. It's very like cuddly and cozy type of scent. Now, um, I do think that it does have strong staying power. I do get a total, I wanna say around about six to eight hours of it, but I also spray the fragrance on my clothes as well, so. But as far as like a, it dries down to a skin scent, you'll probably smell it on your skin for around about like six, six hours, uh, eight hours if you go a little heavy on it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. That's my review on Thierry Mugler's Pure Coffee. Very nice and very simple. Definitely worth having in your collection. I think it's a really enjoyable scent. And if you like gourmand fragrances, then you would definitely, or if you like gourmand coffee-ish fragrances, then you might like this one. Go ahead, get a sample, try it out. Let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all next time on the next one.